Yo, 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 uh, Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks, the Alcoholic Autobot. Uh, didn't have a make a video, I guess, for a long time. It's probably been like a year and a half. I just always review, like, Transformers and stupid shit like that. Uh, I just want to take the time to dedicate this, uh, video to, uh, The Legend of Zelda. Today is 11 20, uh, 2011, and after almost what, like two years? Uh,. Skyward Sword uh, finally came out. I made sure I uh, uh, picked up my copy today. Still unpackaged everything. Uh, I'm 29, so obviously I've been uh, playing the Zelda games in the series for quite a while. I have not played Majora's Mask, uh, Oracle of Ages, Minish Cap, any of the Four Swords, and I didn't play through much of Twilight Princess. Probably the first two hours or so. Uh, what else do I really want to say? I liked how they kept, of course, like the same thing going with the gold disc cartridges. I, you know, I got my first game in '88, the first Zelda that was a gold cartridge. I didn't get uh, Zelda two for quite a while after it. Which I like to say, uh, The Adventures of Link is probably my favorite series of all time. I mean, it wouldn't be till later that they'd use the combat system again for Ocarina of Time. Uh, you know, 20, it's got 25 years on it. That's pretty cool for a series. I was surprised that GameStop didn't have a midnight release for it like they do a lot of their games because there wasn't a whole big pre order going on for it. Uh,. Look at that. You do get the... I didn't know you were going to get the CD with uh, without the big bundle kit, which came with the special gold Wiimote Plus, which you had to ask for that specialty when uh, reserving it. One thing about uh, the timeline, I think, about it, I like how everyone's got their own idea of the timeline, and nobody's right. Nobody's wrong either, so what much can you say about it? I think it's kind of cool how a lot of the timelines end up with the original two Zelda series, and I think the idea where uh, Link's Awakening to, uh, you know, the original Legend of Zelda to Zelda 2 works very nice, but again, everyone's got their own ideas. I'm excited to play this. Like I said, I'm waiting for a while for this to come out. Probably it's going to be a little bit different than a lot of stuff, but so is Wind Waker, and... I thoroughly enjoyed that, even though that's one game I never beat either. Every other Zelda game I've played, I've beaten. Not a big feat or anything. When I originally got uh, Link to the Past, was it 92? 93? Maybe I didn't get it the first year it came out, but I remember getting that over Christmas and I beat that in six days, which was pretty sweet. Uh. And the idea, I guess, where Link's a different Link for most of the games, not the same two Link and Zelda's, except for a few exceptions, it is pretty sweet, too. Because a lot of people get confused and think of the same, the same Link and same Zelda every game. I don't know what else I really want to say about it. Like I said, it's my second favorite game series. Uh, compared to my first being uh, Fire Emblem, I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. But I'm probably going to make a video later after I play a little bit and see what I think and how it compares to all the other games. You know, again, it's my opinion. I'm not the best goddamn person on the face of the earth in his video games. So, we'll give it a shot. <laughs>